In this video, I'll show you the two most powerful methods for assigning resources to tasks in Microsoft Project. You know, in Microsoft Project, there are actually multiple different ways for assigning resources to tasks. But over the years, I've discovered there are two methods that are head and shoulders more powerful than all of the others. In this video, I'll teach you those two powerful methods for assigning resources to tasks. So let's get started. The first method for assigning resources to tasks is to use the task entry view. To display this view, place your mouse pointer anywhere in the white or gray part of the Gantt chart screen, right mouse click, and on the shortcut menu, choose Show Split. In the top pane, the Gantt chart pane, Select the task to which you want to assign resources. And in the bottom pane, select the resources you want to assign and then assign them. So on this particular task, I need Cindy McNair. Now I want you to notice that the duration value for this task is the default of one day. If you have not already entered a duration value, that means you need to enter both a unit's value and a work value for the task. So I need Cindy to work full time or a unit's value of 100%. That means 100% of a typical eight hour working day. And I need Cindy to work 80 hours. So when I assign Cindy to work full time for 80 hours, I can click the OK button and notice that Microsoft Project calculates a duration value of 10 days. 8 hours a day for 80 hours is 10 days duration. When you finish making the assignment, click the button called Next. On the task Build Product 1, I actually need a team of resources. So on this task, I need Chuck Kirkpatrick and Gary Howard and Jerry King and finally Sarah Baker, who will provide oversight on the work on this task. If you have already entered a duration value, such as I did, you can see I entered 20 days, then all you need to do in the bottom pane is to enter either a unit's value for each team member or a work value for each team member. So here's what I need. I need Chuck to work full time. I need Gary to work full time. I need Jerry to work full time. But I only need Sarah to work part time, 25% units or about two hours per day. By the way, if you manually type a value in the units column, you don't need to add the percent sign. Microsoft Project will always assume you mean percent. So I've entered a units value, and when I click the OK button, notice that Microsoft Project correctly calculates for the first three team members 160 hours of work, and for Sarah Baker, 40 hours of work. Let's do one more. I'll click the button called Next. On this particular task, we need Sue Uland to do the work. But Sue is already committed to work one quarter time in another project. Therefore, what I'll do is I'll put her unit's value at 75% to make sure that she doesn't get overextended with the work between the two projects. Notice again, I've already entered a duration value previously, so when I click the OK button, Microsoft Project calculates 75% units, that's an average of six hours per day, times 15 days, 
gives her total work of 90 hours. Now let me show you an interesting little trick. I'll pull the split bar over to the right and I'll widen the resource names column. What I'd like to do is to copy the assignments of Chuck, Gary, Jerry, and Sarah just the way I did for task number three and paste them on task number five. So here's how to do that. I'll select that set of resource assignments. On the computer keyboard, I'll press Control C. Then I'll go to task number five. I'll press Control V and look at that. I can actually see in the bottom pane down here 100, 100, 125, and I can see the newly calculated hours of 40, 40, 40, and 10 because the duration of this task is only five days. I think I'll try that again. I'll copy Sue Uland from task number four and I'll go ahead and paste her on task number six and look at there, Sue Uland, 75%, 12 hours of work. Now when I click the button called Next, I'm going to make one more assignment. On this particular task, Implement Product 1, we're going to use a team of contractors from the contracting company we use. That company is known as Irondale Partners. When you're using a generic resource, you can enter a unit's value greater than 100%. But on a human resource, don't do that. Like Sarah Baker, for example, never enter a, a unit's value greater than 100% for a human resource. But on this generic resource, we actually have three contractors available to work in the project. So I'm going to put in a unit's value of 300%. Irondale Partners working 300% over eight days. When I click the OK button, notice that generates a work value of 192 hours. 300% is 24 hours of work per day, eight hours per day times three peoples, 24. 24 hours per day times eight days gives us a total amount of work of 192 hours. So that is how to use the task entry view to assign resources to tasks. The other way to assign resources to tasks in Microsoft Project is to use the Assign Resources dialog. Before I show you how to do that, however, I'll go ahead and right click anywhere in the white or gray part of the Gantt chart screen and on the shortcut menu, I'll deselect Show Split. Then I'll go ahead and select a task in the project. The fastest way to display the Assign Resources dialog is to right click on any task name and in the shortcut menu to choose the item Assign Resources. Microsoft Project will display what I like to call the Little Assign Resources dialog. This dialog has some powers that the task entry view doesn't have. It allows you actually to select a block of tasks and then assign one or more people to all of the selected tasks simultaneously. So let's go ahead and start out simple. On the task Design Product 2, I want to assign Cindy McNair and I want her to work full time. Notice that there's no work column displayed here. All you can do is choose the resource name and put in a unit's value. So she'll be working full time and I'll click the assign button. Notice that Microsoft Project moves the name Cindy McNair to the top. It calculates the cost for this assignment if you've entered standard and overtime rates for a resource, and it puts a little blue check mark to the left of her name. Now, let's go ahead and select a block of tasks. I need number 11, 
and I need number 13, and I need number 18, and I need number 20. So there's four tasks to which I'd like to assign the same resources. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select Chuck, I'll hold down the control key, Gary, and Jerry, Sarah doesn't need to do any supervision on these tasks. In Microsoft Project, in the Assign Resources dialog, you can enter a unit's value if you've selected one resource, but I recommend you don't enter a unit's value if you have multiple people. Believe me, based on my experience, you'll start fighting with the software. So simply select the names of the people you want to assign and then click the Assign button. What Microsoft Project will do is it will look up their max units value and enter that as the units value for each of the assigned resources. Since the max units value for these three resources was 100%, the units value for these four tasks is also 100% as well. Now let's go ahead and do that again. Let me select number 12. I'll press and hold the control key and select number 14. And this time I want to assign Sue Uland, who will be working three quarter time. Remember, she's working part time in another project. If you're only assigning one resource, you can go ahead and pick the resource and put in a unit's value. So I'll go ahead and click Assign. Now let's go to task number 15. And what I'd like to do here again is to assign the Irondale Partners resource and what we need is three of them. So I'll go ahead and put in 300%. I'll click Assign, and bingo, those partner, Irondale Partners resources, those contractors of which there are three, are now assigned to the task. When you finish assigning resources using the Assign Resources dialog, all you need to do is click the Close button to hide the dialog. There you go. That's how to use the Assign Resources dialog to assign resources to tasks. Well, now you know the two most powerful methods for assigning resources to tasks in Microsoft Project. If you use those two methods, I doubt you'll ever want to use any of the other methods. If you're a new user of Microsoft Project, I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. If you have co-workers who could benefit from these videos, I trust you'll share the videos with them as well. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.